join hands with others to acknowledge the presence of His Excellency, the Ambassador of Ghana to the United States, His Excellency Dr. Trevor Afua, Bishop Payton, other men of God. With the same token of respect and honor, I acknowledge the presence of everybody here. You're most welcome. Um, I have with me here one of my very good friends, right from the military academy, is Captain Joseph J. Nima. He came from Chicago to support us in this country. Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, mothers, ladies, gentlemen. Uh, my name is Captain Samson Hopun Tommy, retired. I served with the Armed Forces of Ghana, Captain uh, West Africa. Thereafter, I joined the United Nations. International Civil Service. That's what I do. That's what I do. I'm the father of uh, Barbara Efia Family Tommy, whose tragic death we all got in here to mourn today. Uh, the Tommy family is honored by your presence and we thank God for making it possible for you to be here or to participate in supporting us in this hard time. Um, I still visualize my beautiful, elegant, cheerful, Brilliant, humble, noble, and above all, God fearing daughter, but um, she had a passion for preaching and she has been very instrumental in the church, enthusiastic about the things of God. And I encourage her to do that. She radiated a lot of light. She presented a lot of hope, opportunity, and promises for the Tony family, the people she laid away, and those she carried along. Uh, since the 8th of September 2020 today, it's been a very difficult. Time for the Tommy family, home and abroad, for our friends, our loved ones. Very difficult time for us. The circumstances of Barbara's passing, I would describe. As a struggle between light and darkness. That struggle, which was referred to in John chapter 1, verses 5, that darkness could not comprehend light. Darkness did not comprehend life. But at the end of the day, it's light that's won. That's why I agree with the earlier speaker. 
As a father, myself and Barbara, we've been very close. Most of the time, she would follow just pick me from the airport. And then we would start our chats. She would remind me, oh, you said you were going to go. Uh, you had this um, plan, project, you want to uh, do what? Where have you got to? Okay, um, I didn't have enough time to do it, or well, I have to divert the resources to do something. But it's hard that you have changed your plans again, so she'll be teasing. Barbara is dearly loved and respected in the family. We respect her views. We we really adore her. She has been there for everybody. And sometimes I even um, assign her roles to play. Oh, you're talking to this person, not to, uh, not to do this game, not to do that. She said, okay, she would say, I, I, I have not that for Well, today I'm aware I will no longer have these opportunities, these nice times I have with But, yes, I'm aware the devil came to steal, to kill, and to destroy. I'm also aware that I know trajectory of the devil's wickedness which is manifested through hatred, bitterness, jealousy, needless discrimination, and deviation from appropriate norms and principles as prescribed by God, like good books of God. Wickedness manifested through hatred, bitterness, jealousy, needless discrimination, deviation from appropriate norms and principles prescribed by good books of God. That my innocent daughter Barbara, so harmless, so meek and wild, has become a victim and her brilliant life, brilliant future is cut short for no time for me. Some people who knew Barbara way back home as a child, some outside, some friends, some relations asked, who wants to hurt that you thought? <laughs> Said Barbara, for what reason? They're simply referring to the naivety of Barbara. It's not only the Tommy family who's a victim. Our friends, our loved ones, have become victims of this kind of mindset and quell. I did not expect this faith for Barbara, the way it happened. I can confirm that by her kind, peaceful nature, Barbara does not deserve this treatment. Not we as a family. There are a few values that the Tommy family upholds dear. We uphold respect for the life of others, respect for the dignity of others, humility, sincerity, integrity. 
And that is how we were brought up. The Tommy family have been brought up that way. And that is it. And that's the kind of behavior we try to inculcate into our children. And Barbara upholds that dear. That's one reason I cannot accept. I find it very difficult to cope with this. I need to emphasize that the Tommy family is a very peaceful family. We, we, we love people, we take care of people. You definitely don't need a gun. You don't need a cane. You don't even need a shrub, not even a leaf, to communicate with us. Tell us what you think. Let's discuss it. That's how we, we, we believe in that. So there was really no need for anybody to stalk. Barbara to hide around her office and to gun her down. In fact, uh, uh, I don't wish it for anybody. I definitely don't wish it for anybody. And I insist that this is sheer quality to Barbara. And, uh, very severe injury to the father, to our friends, to our loved ones. It's a serious, grievous injury to the Charlie family home and around. I don't know how to do it. Uh, Barbara is an irreplaceable loss to the Tommy family, to our friends, our loved ones, those who have. Have time to really get to know her. It's an imparable done to us as a family. It's a wound that I don't know when it will heal. It's a wound that I do not know when it will heal for us. It's only God who knows. Word by friends. As a family, we shall continue to cherish Barbara. We shall continue to love Barbara. Amen. Amen. I still trust God. I have faith in God. God will comfort Barbara, will grant her peace wherever she is. Until we meet again. I want to thank you all for your demonstrated love, for your kind support to the Southern family. I sincerely thank you. It's very important for us, and I pray that the Lord will be Thank you very